Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be going over what is currently happening with GTA 6 right now in August 2023. And with all the rumors and trustable sources pointing towards a release of mid to late 2024, that means that Rockstar is closing up on a one year time gap between the alleged reveal and release of GTA 6. So today we're going to be going over some basic information about what we currently know about the current status of GTA 6, where things are, and most importantly providing a updated estimate of when we're expecting things to be revealed and released based on the latest information that we know at the moment. So stay tuned because we got a lot of really important information to discuss today, but before we do that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and wrap out onto the actual video. Now, today's shout out goes to the Jack Daniels handcrafted wood bead bracelet. If you're a fan of Jack Daniels or love one of a kind accessories or both, look no further. This stunning 6mm wood bead bracelet is crafted from an authentic Jack Daniels barrel. This bracelet is truly a conversation starter and a must have for any whiskey enthusiast or fashion forward individual. What I love about it most is that of course it is unique, it is genuinely made out of Jack Daniels barrels which I think is really cool and it's truly a one of a kind piece of accessory and on top of that it is also a really great gift idea which I think is perfect. So whether somebody is into whiskey or they just really like interesting fashion, I think this would be a really cool gift. And best of all, each bracelet comes with a certificate of authenticity from the Jack Daniels company, which honestly is the icing on the cake. Don't miss out on the opportunity to own this exceptional piece of jewelry. Click the first link in the description down below to find out more. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now before we dive into the details of the story, the bottom line to start things off is that GTA 6 is near completion and Rockstar is very likely in the process of both quality assurance testing and also planning a lot of the marketing for the game. Now one of the big challenges that Rockstar has faced over the years when developing GTA 6 is just the fact that it is based on current events and the real world. Now as a lot of you know, there have been a lot of major changes in the world over the past couple of years and allegedly Rockstar has had to rehaul the story of GTA 6 a total of three times. So they had the original, then the second version, and now the third version, which allegedly is the final one. Another positive bit of news is after the unfortunate leak that happened a while ago of some very early GTA 6 footage, Rockstar came out pretty quickly and said that this has no impact on the development of GTA 6, which very likely means they are way further along than what was shown in those videos, and what was put out there while upsetting really isn't a clear representation of what they've been working on. Now there's been a lot of talk about Rockstar possibly shifting the release date to 2025, which in my opinion is probably not going to happen, but as always, do take this information with a grain of salt. Everything that we know so far is pointing towards Rockstar switching to a one year release schedule between the reveal and release of the game. Previously, Rockstar has always done it for two years and possibly even longer with other games. However, now with GTA 6, they're going to be shortening up that time gap, really announcing the game, and just a few months later, launching marketing, pre-order campaigns, and all of that good stuff in just about a year. Now, there's been a few pieces of information, including a letter that was leaked a few months ago that shows us that Rockstar is allegedly starting to work on the marketing campaigns for GTA 6. Now, as we talked about in many of my recent videos, GTA 6 is, of course, expected to take place in Miami, also known as Vice City in the GTA universe. And there was a letter leaked a few months ago that showed a Rockstar employee reaching out to, I believe it was a hotel in the Miami area, and asking what the deal would be for them to run an advertisement on the side of that hotel. 
Now, Rockstar is a big fan of using buildings in the area as advertisements for the game. They did the exact same thing for GTA 5, and it seems like they're going to be doing the exact same thing from the same playbook for GTA 6. I think that time when Rockstar is running the marketing campaign is going to be a really interesting time to visit Miami, especially if you're a fan of the GTA series, because a lot of the buildings in that area are very likely going to be painted with custom graphics and advertisements for the game, which I think is really cool. Besides that, the state that the game is actually in right now is likely something very similar to what we're going to get at the release. Some of the colors and lighting are probably going to be different, but in terms of the main elements, including the story, the way the game actually plays, a lot of the primary physics elements, a lot of those are probably done and completely over with at this stage. So that really begs the question as to why Rockstar is still waiting and holding off on announcing GTA 6 this late in the cycle. Now we still don't know exact information about why at the moment, we already know from Rockstar Games CEO Strauss Zelnick that they are planning some major game releases and major profits are expected next year as well. So from the corporate side of Rockstar and their parent company Take-Two Interactive, all things are pointing towards a release mid to late next year. However, in my opinion, this is simply a marketing play, and if I had to guess, Rockstar is probably going to reveal it either later in the summer or during the holiday season, which honestly makes sense because after all, that is when advertising is the most effective. So while it isn't a perfect comparison, it's worth noting that GTA 5 was announced in late October, October 25th to be exact. So it's very possible that Rockstar could hold off the announcement for GTA 6 just to that exact day to copy what they did for GTA 5, but we're going to have to wait and see, but it is worth noting that the announcement later in the year is totally not out of the question. But in the meantime, I do want to warn all of you that the next couple of months in terms of news surrounding GTA 6 and GTA 5 and really all of Rockstar's current projects are likely going to be pretty quiet, especially considering that a majority of the team is working on finishing GTA 6 and getting it out the door. A majority of the developers that were working on GTA 5 Online and Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, a lot of those developers have been moved to work on GTA 6. Now, quite possibly, the most interesting detail that nobody has figured out just yet is the alleged release of Red Dead Redemption 1 Remastered. Now, Red Dead Redemption 1 is, of course, the first iteration of Red Dead Redemption, and I personally would love to have a remaster of that game because I personally have not played it simply because the graphics are so outdated at this point. So I think the idea is wonderful, but the question is, how does that really fit into the release cycle for GTA 6? That is an interesting question that nobody really has an answer to at the moment. So I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. If we're going to go by everything that we know so far with a possible reveal of GTA 6 either later this summer or later this year, and then a release mid to late next year, what does Red Dead Redemption Remastered have to do with any of that? And how is that going to fit in? Myself personally, Rockstar may release it kind of midway through the cycle between the announcement and release of GTA 6, but at the same time, that is not a great idea because it's going to shift away attention from GTA 6, which obviously is not what Rockstar wants. So we're going to have to wait and see how all of this plays out, but I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already those notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day. I'm sure to talk to you guys then.